Okay, I think this is another designer box. So I'm super excited to open it. My last one that I did with Ryan was pretty good, but of course, like always, Ryan got the better box. He keeps picking the heavier boxes, which probably is true because usually if you have more purses and shoes, those tend to sell better. If you're new here, thank you for checking out my channel. My name is Heather and I'm a full-time reseller. I do these mystery unboxings every Sunday, but I also do reseller content videos throughout the week like thrift hauls and what sold videos. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button down below. If you're already subscribed, the best way you can support my channel is give me a thumbs up and commenting. So if you can help out with that, that would be great. This box is like extremely taped up. So these cost $140 for seven items and they can be DIY. So you do run the risk of damaged items, which I have definitely gotten in the past, but sometimes they're not. Um, I ordered a couple of shoe boxes this week because I haven't gotten them in a really long time. It had it where you could choose by sizes. So I got size seven and a half. I got two boxes that each have five pair of shoes. So I'll kind of see like what's the better box. So that should be my video for next Sunday. Let me give you a top look of this box. Oops, sorry, that's my hand. Okay, so looking like clothes on the top there. Let's see what is inside. Okay, the first thing we have is a Dolce & Gabbana blazer, which is amazing. I have never received, well, maybe I've received this brand, but it's been a really long time. It also sets it up here in the hardware. I'm not very good with authenticating things, so we'll see. It has two buttons with the pockets. It also has buttons down here on the sleeve. There's silver buttons. This will be great right now with like spring, summer. I feel like people wear white more in the spring, summer. So it does look like a little bit of a longer length. Let me open up the inside and see if there's some tags or anything else that might help authenticate this jacket. I don't see a size or anything, so okay. Here we go, here's the tags. If you guys know anything about this, authentic or not, please let me know down below in the comments. It says size 38, so I am gonna have to look up the sizing on that. It says Dolce & Gabbana, made in Italy, cotton. So by the looks of this tag, I'm gonna assume that it's authentic. So that's great. I have no idea what a Dolce & Gabbana blazer goes for. I am seeing a little bit of spots back here on the white. Um, it's not hardly picking up, but like see right there, it's very faint. So I'll probably use some stain remover and try to get that clean. But other than that, I mean, a couple little spots, it looks pretty good. So that's a good start in my book. I have some more clothes and I see a bunch of shoes at the bottom. So yay. Okay, this is a tiny little black sweater. First feeling it, I'm like, well, what is this? And it has a hole. It has a hole right here. That's not good. That sucks, it's going to extremely... Okay, so this is Burberry, but I don't know. Is Burberry made in China? Please let me know with this tag if this is authentic. There's nothing on the top part. It says it's 100% extra fine merino wool. And here's the other tags, let me show you guys. So if you have any insight, please let me know. Maybe it could be, I don't know. And there's no tag at the top that says like Burberry or with a size or anything. The armpits are like kind of crusty feeling. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna have to wash this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is suspicious to me. So let me know what you guys think. By those tags, is that real? I'm not excited about that. Ugh. Even if it is real, I don't think it's gonna do very good because it's just plain um, and it has a hole. All right, next. Next we have this shirt, I guess, tank top. It has a, sh well, I mean, I guess that would hit, I was like, would that hit over your chest? Probably. So it's sheer, obviously see-through at the top with navy blue and white. Um, it has a couple pockets on the top. There's a dry cleaning tag from somebody. 
Let's see, where's the tag on this? Right inside here, it shows a size two. And it says it's a silk cotton made in the USA and there's still no brand tag. Oh wait, here, it's inside here. There's a side zip. If you guys see anything you're interested in, please message me on Instagram. Um, and it is the brand Layla Rose. So here's what the tag looks like. I've never sold this, at least not that I can remember. So I have no idea about the resale value on Layla Rose. So if you have any experience with that, please let me know. There's the navy blue top and the white bottom part of the shirt. Okay, and then I have four pairs of shoes, so that's great. My battery might be dying. I currently can't find the charger to this camera to charge the battery, so I have one on order on Amazon, but it's not coming until Thursday. Okay, the first thing I have is a pair of Jimmy Choo shoes. It's hard to see in between all of those. Jimmy Choo shoes. This is like a black suede, very like cagey, lace up, open toe heel. The heels actually look in really good condition, which I'm excited about because sometimes they are rough and these are a size 37 and a half. So I think that's probably like a seven, seven and a half. It does say Jimmy Choo and these little tiny gold things. I don't even know what you want to call that on the end of the laces. So that is exciting. Let me check out this one. This one's got a little bit of an issue with the heel, um, but honestly not that bad. As far as the suede goes, I don't see any like major scuffing or anything like that. Maybe like a little bit of wear right there, but honestly, that is great. I'm really excited. I'll have to look up comps on this style, see if I can find them and see what these go for. Next is a pair of espadrilles and we have Jimmy Choo again. This is great for summer, an espadrille wedge with a suede metallic crossover slide style. These are a size 40. So I'm guessing like a 10, nine and a half, 10. Um, I don't really see too much wrong with them. I don't see any issues. I guess this side has a little bit of stain. Is there anything you can do to get stains out of this rope espadrille part? If you guys know of any, leave them below in the comments. This might be a little bit worn here, but it's honestly not bad. Another pair of Jimmy Choo's, that's amazing. I do not find this brand in my thrift stores hardly ever. Let's see about the next two pair. Okay, are we surprised? Salvatore Ferragamo. These are a pair of Ferragamo heels, kind of old style, not my favorite. I really like the ones with the bow in the top, like the ballet flats. Those seem to do good for me. Leather sole made in Italy, leather upper, I'm trying to find a size, size seven and a half B. I'm gonna assume these are only gonna sell for 20, 25, maybe 30, just because of the style. It's not really the best. They're probably vintage. This looks like an 80s shoe or something. So, eh. Okay, it's got the T-strap, the reptile. I mean, I'll probably price them higher, but I feel like honestly, that's what they're gonna go for. Okay, and the last pair are a pair of Marc Jacobs. So Marc Jacobs heels, really cute little like black and white fun design with the bow on the top. A little bit of discoloration on the back of the heels here. Um, loose threads, I can use a lighter. These are a size 37. I've hardly ever sold Marc Jacobs shoes, only the heels. So I will be interested to see what these go for. They're, they are very cute and I like them. I think they're pretty. Here's another scuff here. I just don't know what the value of them is. So that's my box guys. Let me know down below what you think if you've gotten one of these boxes recently and how it went for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon for another video.